A major ruling could come today on an abortion law here in Florida. A judge is uh, set to decide whether to block it from going into effect tomorrow. It bans abortions after 15 weeks. The local 10 News reporter Christina Vasquez is live with the very latest on the challenge happening in court. Christina. In fact, looking at my iPad here, it says 1226 p.m. And I'm joining you live with this because live streaming here is that hearing happening in Leon County in the courtroom of Judge John Cooper at 1230. So we're just minutes away. He's expected to start the process of unveiling his verbal ruling, which will determine whether or not Florida's new abortion law will take effect tomorrow. All right, to give you some background, you may remember back in April, the governor signed a new 15-week abortion ban. Essentially, it prohibits any abortions to be performed in the state after the 15-week gestation period. There's also no exemptions for rape, incest, or human trafficking. Well, there was a lawsuit filed against that law, and the plaintiffs include providers like Planned Planhood. And what they argue is that it is unconstitutional because they're citing a privacy clause within the state's constitution. The state has argued a variety of things to include that with the majority of abortions happening here in Florida, happening under 15 weeks and arguing that they have no standing. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you two key arguments here. This is from the plaintiff's complaint, quote, that HB5 will unlawfully intrude upon the fundamental privacy rights of Florida women. On that issue of whether providers have standing, take a look at the state defendant's response, quote, plaintiffs possess no implicated privacy rights themselves. Plaintiffs' constitutional rights are not at issue in this case, only their patients' rights are. So coming back out to me live, what happened this morning is with the plaintiffs in this case asking for a temporary injunction. Essentially, they want to block the ban on the arguments you just heard, saying it's unconstitutional. They presented their final arguments to the judge this morning. So right now, you are in the role of judge, and you're gonna hear what both these sides had to say. You are first gonna hear from a lawyer representing the state defendant in this case, which would be the state of Florida, and then you're gonna hear from an attorney representing the providers in this case, which include Planned Parenthood. Take a listen. The plaintiffs have to show that they are irreparably harmed. Not that someone else is irreparably harmed. A private actor is interfering with the doctor-patient relationship. The state is setting medical standards. Every single medical standard that the state sets affects the type of care that doctors can provide. Doctors comply with the law. And so we think that at least the law's application to people who are going to get an earlier procedure with a lower complication rate that the law does not violate the rights of all women in all circumstances because of that category of people. But in any event, plaintiffs have also shown irreparable harm to themselves. There's no dispute that plaintiffs currently offer abortions after 15 weeks and that they would be forced to stop that under coercion of the threatened uh, criminal and licensing penalties that HB5 carries. Um, HB5 will thus force plaintiffs to stop providing safe comprehensive and um, compassionate health care to their patients against their medical judgment and against the needs and best interests of their patients. And so with the high court essentially with its determination allowing for state courts within the context of individual state constitutions now pursuing and exploring these legal questions in terms of the um, constitutional right to abortion access. That's what makes this case such a microcosm of what's happening nationwide and closely watched. Again, we are minutes away from that judge where he said he's going to come to the bench. He's going to start the process of giving his verbal ruling. And really important to know how close this is coming down to the wire for both sides of this issue because he did previously say that even with this verbal ruling that comes today, it is not binding until the written order is filed, which may come even tomorrow morning, which is actually the day that, again, Florida's new 15-week abortion ban is set to take effect, which is at the heart of all of this with these plaintiffs trying to block the ban. So stay tuned. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.